guys, so it is May 2nd, Monday, May 2nd, and my May art snacks came in. And I've already started reviewing my sketch box for May because I did the basic and the premium as a comparative review. And later on in this review, I will grab some items from my sketch box basics. So for those of you who are following the whole sketch box versus art snacks thing, um, that should get you guys caught up. If you enjoy this sort of content, I recommend you watch all of the videos in the playlist. Um, I do multiple videos for each month. Um, I do an unboxing, I do an overview where I go over the prices, and then I do the challenge. So I really hope you watch all of those, and I hope you check the blog for the blog post, blog post that sums all of it up. So I didn't open my May Art Snacks just yet. I did slit the sticker, and I did black out my mailing address because I'd like to keep that private. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Whoa, look at that neon ink. So this month we've got FW fluorescent orange acrylic ink and that is, that is quite a color. My camera can't capture it. It is. I know some of you guys are really interested in neon colors and I know some of you are having difficulty capturing neons. This looks pretty dang neon. So what else do we have? We have the Art Snack sticker. We have a wrap bundle. We have a brush H2O by Zig. Ooh, okay. We've got a card for the travel collection. Uh, we've got the descriptive thing, which I'm, which I'm not going to look at. And we've got directions for a thing that will kind of spoil maybe what's in the rest of the pack. So... The sticker says, share your unboxing with us at Art Snacks, hashtag Art Snacks. So if you guys do Art Snacks or would like to see what other people are getting or what other people are doing, you should check out those tags. This feels pretty heavy. All right. So we've got a general cedar point and then we have a, what is that? I know it's a K9, but... Remove cap, press rubber ball once or twice. Do not over pump. Steel ball. Huh. So it's, I think it's an acrylic. I'm pretty sure it's an acrylic um, pin. I could be wrong. It is a permanent paint marker. So we've got a pencil for sketching. We've got a water brush with a detailer's tip. We've got FW fluorescent ink, and we have got a permanent paint marker, which is what this is. And, oh, there's also a 30% on your next crink purchase, so i um, not sure if I should share that or not. I'm not sure if that's allowed because uh, it's for art snacks people. Um, anyway, the directions say, press the rubber bulb once or twice to adjust ink flow. Do not over pump. Over pumping may cause malfunction. Steel ball tip writes on most surfaces. Wipe tip before storing tip side up. That's, that is the most interesting ballpoint pen I've seen probably ever. And the card says, um, here's what's on the menu for May. Uh, Crink K90 paint marker, $12 retail. It's a new product. Crink has done it again. Headquartered in New York City, Crink has developed a new, unique new paint marker with a pump action end and a steel rollerball steel rollerball tip. The Crink K90 paint marker is the first of its kind, so get creative. To use, gently pump the rubber end of the marker once to propel the paint into into the tip of the marker. Press down lightly and start to draw. The rollerball tip will release paint on your surface. Do not over pump marker. So they have said it like four times, so I assume that is super duper important. General Cedar Point Graphite Pencil Number One Extra Soft, uh, 66 cents retail. Looking for an excellent soft graphite pencil with a reliable eraser? We found it for you. General Cedar Point Graphite Pencil is made with genuine cedar and a buttery graphite core. It delivers an incredibly smooth drawing experience and has a cedar wood casing for a comfortable grip. Manufacturing pencils since 1889, General Pencil is the only pencil factory still operating in the United States so every detail was considered when making this pencil so if you guys are interested in supporting American made general would be a company to support Kuratake brush 2 long 
and it's this right here. And you guys have seen me use these in my studio. Um, I often use them for watercolor tests. Um, designed for easy, tra oh, it's a new product too. Uh, and the Brush 2.0 logo in the American release is new. Um, Kuretake has, these these water brushes are, are available on Amazon and I think Jet Pins and have been for a little while, but maybe people aren't quite familiar with them. Um, designed for easy transport and storage when you're painting on the go, the Kuretake Brush 2.0 Long is one handy brush. Oh, okay, so Kuretake is redesigned it to hold 25% more water. So it's actually, it actually is a new product. It is a bigger product. And I'm looking for one of my regular ones. And I think I have them all stashed away. So I might have to go digging. Uh, the nylon tip is very durable and will never lose its shape. Fill up the barrel with water or ink and give it a light squeeze to get the liquid flowing. Then we have FW acrylic ink, neon acrylic ink. That's right, it is because it is neon. 770 retail, staff favorite. FW neon acrylic ink by Dale Rowney is a special acrylic based ink that's highly pigmented for creating multiple color layers on top of your art. Dilute the ink with water to get a high intensity watercolor effect or use a dry brush to create a textured stroke. Let your imagination run wild when you fill your Kuretake brush 2 long with this acrylic ink. Oh. Maybe so. I've had bad experiences in the past with acrylic inks in water brushes because they tend to clog, but I mean, why Why not? They, they're giving me a suggestion and I did complain that I want these boxes to start giving me new ideas. So maybe I'll do that. So take the Art Snacks Challenge. Use all of the products in your box to create an original piece of art. Snap a picture of your artwork and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram with the hashtag Art Snack Challenge. Like a product? Order more. Visit artsnacks.co slash products. Support at artsnacks.co, artsnacks.co. So um, at the top it says the pen, the pencil is mightier than the eraser. Hmm, Dem's fighting words. But uh, I was hoping it was going to be a joke like last month with the, the cow in the museum. Like, I, I like that. And I also got a card for the travel collection. I've never done their travel collection. I did do their lettering collection. I can't afford to do all, I, it would be cool to be able to review all of the subscription boxes they release in a year. It would be cool. I can't afford to do that. Maybe you guys can afford to do the travel collection though. And this card says, Ahoy! If you haven't already heard, we've launched the 2016 Art Snacks Travel Collection. This limited edition collection features seven full-size premium products ex blah, 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 expertly curated for any adventure. Products in this box are totally different from last, last year's travel collection. The cutoff date to order is May 25th, 2016 and you can pre-order your at HTT blurp blurp I mean there we go HTTP colon backslash backslash bitly bitly dot com backslash ATC hyphen 2016 so and if any of you guys are interested in seeing me review that box you can make that happen by becoming a patreon backer I receive no um no uh, financial support or um, what is the word? The, the, when I do these art boxes, when I do the art snacks and sketchbox boxes, I've paid for those out of pocket. Or actually, the art snacks was a gift from my fantastic mother, Denise Hilburn. Thank you so much, Mom. As a Christmas present, purchase for the purposes of review. So somebody near and dear to me, if not me, someone I love, paid good money for me to review these blo uh, these boxes. And my wonderful, phenomenal, fantastic, amazing patrons on Patreon, patreon.com slash soup, make it possible for me to share these unboxings with you guys every month through their, their generous contributions for my hard work. And if you enjoy content like this, there are a number of ways you can help support me. You can watch the ads in, the, in front and in the middle of my videos. That money helps a lot. Um, and you have to watch 30 seconds of those or I don't see any of it. Um, you can become a patron at Patreon. Uh, you can s subscribe and that way as videos come out, you'll know about them. Um, and you can signal boost my work on your social networks. That would be huge. I would super appreciate it, guys. Please help me grow my audience. I love what I do but I need a little bit of, little bit more support. So signal boosting to your social networks would be a huge way to help me out. 
So I have two more videos coming up for May Art Snacks. I have the overview and I have the challenge. So please keep an eye on this channel for even more of that. And please read the blog, natosoup.blogspot.com, where I condense it all together. I list everything out. If you're like me and uh, you have a hard time remembering things, but you do well with visuals, that is the place to check. So I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, so I had a goof troop moment and I realized that I promised you guys I would go over what came in my main basic box as well. So I'm fixing that. This is the two boxes side by side. Both boxes sent me FW acrylic ink this month. Uh, Sketchbox sent me this lovely pearlescent moon violet. Art Snacks sent me this super cool neon fluorescent orange. They look really cool together to be honest. Um, too bad I'm doing the challenges separately. Uh, let's see, what else? Sketchbox Basics sent me a set of five Tacalon, white, uh, white Tacalon Princeton brushes. Art Snacks sent me a brush H2O. Sketchbox sent me a Pentel color brush. Art Snacks sent me a cool acrylic pen that I've never tried before because it's new and cedar point pencil so if you're just going now okay so these came as a set these were not five individual pencils just for the record and you should check out my sketchbox basic versus sketchbox premium unboxing video here or my sketchbox basic overview if you're interested in everything shown let me put those down on this side of the table so um, it seems like both boxes have a theme of acrylic this month, which makes it very tempting to try and mix the boxes, which I've done in the past, but I'm also, this month I'm trying to keep my boxes very separate. So I will not be mixing the boxes as cool as that would be, um, but I will probably end up noodling around with these two together and maybe throw the crink in there as well. So that's what was in my sketchbox basic and my art snacks for may i will see you guys soon with the art snacks for may overview